Hey y'all, hey y'all. Welcome to my channel. This is Straight Facts Commentary where I give you my unpopular opinions in everything pop culture. So please, please, please stick around and subscribe for more. Hey y'all, I am back again with another video. And in today's video, you see the title, you see the title, we're gonna be speaking about Diddy. And in today's video, I'm giving more of a rant style video, just my opinion, just my thoughts, just everything I'm kind of feeling and seeing as this whole Diddy situation unfolds. So if you're interested in that, anything pop culture, conspiracy theories, trending topics, female rap, pop R&B, I kind of get into everything here. So like, comment, share, and subscribe, and let's go ahead and get into this video. So, 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 um, everything coming out with Diddy is absolutely sad and terrifying. But Cat Williams did tell us on the onset of the year that this was going to be the year of truth and that there was a lot of stuff that was hidden that was going to come out. He must have knew ahead of all of us because, you know, Cat Williams has been in the industry for years. But the point is, I feel like <laughs> definitely Cat Williams was right. This is not over. And this is definitely going to cause a domino effect in the industry. Um, we're already seeing it, obviously, with people like Dan Schneider and the people who worked like um, on the set of Nickelodeon. I'm sure Disney Channel is going to be coming out soon, different types of, because if people are feeling emboldened to tell their stories and people are coming out left and right against people in the industry, like this is unheard of. Like this type of stuff was not happening. It wouldn't have dared happen 10, 20 years ago. You know, this is crazy, but it's it's wonderful to see that people are getting their uh, their justice, right? And that they're being heard. But as far as Diddy, I definitely feel as though <laughs> this is going to cause a domino effect in the industry because Diddy has been around for a long time. He's one of the key players, key figures in hip hop, period. <laughs> like, if we think about hip hop, we think about Diddy, Tupac, biggie like you know what i mean and i find it very hard to believe that diddy is the only one in the rap game who is a part of some nefarious stuff um diddy is very 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 high up very very respected and obviously there had to have been other people around him who were co-signing it who knew about it who were a part of it and all these people are in high places so they keep each other protected and they keep quiet there's more people like i feel like it's gonna get crazy and you know soon in the next oncoming years and then oncoming months because there are going to be people who are going to get exposed in this industry who we are never going to have thought that they would have any affiliation with these types of things with these types of allegations and diddy was surprising for some but less surprising for others because there has been rumors that diddy has been a diddler <laughs> oh, there has been rumors that diddy has been doing weird stuff behind the scenes for years like it, with Diddy, the speculation isn't new. The conversation isn't new. But there are going to be people, I feel like, who are going to come out to where it is new. And we would have never heard anything about them otherwise. You know what I mean? Like people who like squeaky clean image. They're, they're totally nice. We see and hear great things about them all the time. They stay out of the way. Like I feel like that is the type of thing that we're going to start getting into. And I feel like <laughs> this is the beginning of the industry falling apart. Um, not even just like hip hop, but in general. There's so many cracks in this industry. There's so many cracks in Hollywood. There's so much I feel like that's going on behind the scenes. And, you know, this is when conspiracy theorists get a bad name for speculating all this weird stuff that's been going on. But it's been going on and we get a bad rap for for looking too deep into things or thinking things or blah 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 and it's like the stuff is coming out though <laughs> it's crazy it's like the stuff is coming out and i feel like there are people who are going to get exposed to it's going to break people it's going to break a lot of people because there are so many people who live through these celebrities who who pedestalize them who see and believe so much in them that when these cracks you know right now with diddy some people don't really care as much but it's going to be people who a lot of people care about who a lot of people are going to be shocked by you know what i mean and it's gonna break people because 
they are like, oh my gosh, like how could this be? Hollywood, I feel like, is a very sick place. And the people that we would least expect to be involved in some creepy stuff, some dark stuff, some evil stuff, it's going to come out. It's going to come out. Diddy can't be the only one. Obviously, he wasn't. R. Kelly, um, you know, has already been taken down. Um, people like Bill Cosby, even. Like, who would have thought? <laughs> you know, he's not a music industry, but still, he's a part of the industry. Who would have thought that Bill Cosby um, was the person that he was behind the scenes, as nice as he appeared to be? It's always people like that. Unfortunately, unfortunately, in the business, I feel, um, you know, we'd be surprised how many people are victims, Yo. too. Like the Drake Bells. Probably never would have thought. Because of how he grew up and how we grew up watching him, we probably never would have thought anything was wrong. <laughs> like, I feel like it's always the people you least expect who are victims. Always the people you least expect who are hurting people. And more stuff is going to come out, but I'm prepared because I don't trust anything. <laughs> And I don't believe anybody really in this Hollywood space are are good, honestly. Most of most of the people in the Hollywood space I don't feel are good. And so I'm gonna be surprised, but I'm not gonna be that surprised. Um, because yeah, I'm I'm a conspiracy theorist. Ooh, <laughs> quote unquote, right? There are people who are saying, Oh, Jay Z and Beyonce are next. Look, I'm not gonna put anything on to anyone. I would never say anything like, Oh, these people are next, or this is gonna happen to this person. Like but people are speculating because Jay-Z is, you know, been connected to Diddy. He's a very high person in Hollywood as well. He's probably very well respected and protected. So people speculate that they've heard weird things about Jay-Z. Who knows, though? I'm not going to put it past anybody, but I'm not going to put it on anyone either. We'll just see what happens. But I just say this to say, more is coming. <laughs> for sure for sure whether it's this year whether it's in next year whether it's the year after that more is coming i feel like for whatever reason now whoever is in charge is cracking down on everybody i don't know who i don't know who told on diddy i don't know what cracked in the system to where diddy got exposed because these types of things go on for years and years and years and years uncovered so why now is he being raided? So why now is everything getting exposed? It's very interesting. Like what happened behind the scenes, I wonder, to where now all of his all of his baggage is coming out. <laughs> like it's a good thing. It's a good thing. But I wonder what has triggered it and who's next. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah, I feel like it's gonna get crazy. It's gonna get crazier. But y'all let me know. Do you do you guys think that? Do you guys think that, you know, this is it? Or do you think that there's more to come? <laughs> um, oh, yeah. And I wanted to show you this clip, too. Um, where we hanging out and what we doing, um, we, we can't really disclose. But um, it's definitely a 15-year-old's dream. Um, he yeah. signed to Usher. I'm signed to Usher. Uh, I, I had legal guardianship of Usher when, when you know, he, he did his first album. I did yes. Usher's first album. I don't really, I don't have legal guardianship of him, but for the next 48 hours, he's with me. So, um, and, and, and we're going to go full, buck full crazy. We're going crazy. Oh my God. That clip just creeps me out now, given all the context. Like, what does that even mean? We can't disclose what's going to happen, but it's a 15 year old's dream and we're going to go crazy. What does that mean? I mean, I guess looking at it back then, innocently as children watching Justin Bieber, we'd be like, oh, they're probably going to go go speed around in race cars and play video games and drink soda until 1 a.m. Like that is what I would think of it as a context as a child. But knowing what we know now, what, what, <laughs> what happened? What happened? Because it couldn't have been that. And uh, Usher was allegedly abused and saw things uh, when he was under uh, Diddy's, um, you know, control or mentorship or whatever the hell. And so um, if that happened to Usher when he was around Justin Bieber's age and he was with Diddy and he said he saw a lot of weird things and um, stuff he shouldn't have seen as a child and been through probably as a child. What did Justin Bieber see or go through? And is he a victim of Hollywood? Which I, oh, he definitely is. Justin Bieber definitely is. He definitely is. That's a whole other story. That's a whole other situation because it's not even just Diddy that I feel like 
uh, Justin Bieber had a run in with Justin Bieber. I feel like there's a lot of people who hypersexualized Justin Bieber as a child. This, that's a whole nother story, but my gosh, there's just so many different clips and so many different things resurfacing, coming up with Diddy that look very strange that we all wonder, like, how long has this been going on, you know? And it's sad to see. But um, you guys let me know what you feel about this whole situation and what you feel about what's to come in this industry. And I will talk to you in the next one. Bye.